Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao set the tone for the Huzurabad by-election, though the election commission is yet to notify the dates. The chief minister appears to have gone on election mode from the way he lambasted the opposition parties and listed out SOPs like Government Medical College and allocation of funds for Kamradi and Banswada municipality. The statement of AIIMS Director Dr. Randy Guleria that Delta Plus variant of the coronavirus poses a high risk to the unvaccinated sections of society has raised concerns among parents over the decision of the government to reopen schools. From the 1st of July, even doctors to whom the Hans India spoke felt that the government should reconsider its decision since children fall under the high risk category. Andhra Pradesh, which developed a vast chain of network for COVID vaccination during the past few months, created a new record on Sunday by administering over 13 lakh doses of vaccine in a single day. The state government has earlier taken up a vigorous campaign across the state on the mega vaccination drive on Sunday. Andhra Pradesh Principal Secretary, Health, Anil Kumar Singhal says a state level panel including senior pediatricians as members has been constituted to tackle COVID third wave so far treatment has been provided to 770 black fungus patients in state, a sum of rupees 350 crores earmarked for the purpose. Hunt for treasure purportedly buried under the sanctum sanctorum of a century-old temple in a village in Karnataka's Hassan district led seven people, including a priest, to try to dig up the structure, police said on Sunday. This seven-member gang, which also included a prominent astrologer and assistant director of cooperative societies. The crime branch of the Delhi police has busted a unit manufacturing fake drugs meant for treatment of COVID and black fungus patients and arrested 10 people, including two doctors, officials on Sunday. The medicines were being black marketed through WhatsApp, they said. The Delhi government has allowed reopening of bars, public parks and gardens from Monday under a phased easing of restrictions imposed due to the second COVID wave. The Delhi Disaster Management Authority DDMA, in an order on Sunday stated that bars will be allowed to reopen with 50% seating capacity, from 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. Rajasthan will soon house one of the world's largest open modern art galleries, the Mandora Art Village, which will bespeak the stories of the Zert, beautiful Havilis, colorful dresses, camels, sands and much more. The Mandora Art Village project aims to promote local art and culture and stop migration from the village. Yoga is an invaluable gift of India's ancient tradition. Yoga itself is a physical, mental and spiritual practice that originated in India about 6,000 years ago. Throughout the ages, yoga evolved and developed, along the way becoming a philosophy in itself. Actress Rashi Aikana, who works predominantly in Tamil and Telugu films, feels roles for actresses in the South are no longer just about being pretty. Earlier you had to just look pretty and do great in songs. Now you have to be a good actor and I think we have a bank of great actresses in the South as well. It is starting now and I still feel we have a long way to go, says Rashi Aikana.